a, just a quick video here uh, regarding psychological warfare. Uh, in the military, I was in a pretty cool unit in the Army, and we would parachute into different places uh, and attach to our unit was a psychological warfare team and they would jump in with us and uh, they brought along with them a sound system. It sounds crazy but we did and uh, we would navigate to our objective and the PSYOPs team would set up their sound system, high power sound system, and when we gave them the green light they began blasting music. And it was like uh, music from, um, Nir I think Nirvana. They had that song um, called Sandman. Uh, it's pretty aggressive music. And then uh, we played songs from Metallica. And it's just war music. And it got us all pumped up. And I mean, it was blaring, blaring loud, crystal clear sound. Anyway, what it did is it terrified the enemy on the other side of that barbed wire fence we were about to charge through and conduct our operation. Satan does psychological warfare. I referenced it briefly in a previous video. Satan goes around like a roaring lion to terrify us, to frighten us, to cower us. Again, that we would drop our shield, drop our sword of the spirit, and cower in fear, and he would run over us. As Christians, we have no reason to be afraid of Satan. Not only is he defeated, he's been judged, and he's waiting for the execution of that punishment. That's where he stands before God. If you read, again, I've been studying Ephesians a lot. Uh, in Ephesians chapter 1, it talks about Jesus leading uh, a host of captives captive in the train of his glory. So that's also a reference to when a Roman conqueror, commander, was victorious, he led his captives in a, a triumphal entry into Rome, showing Caesar his triumph and his captives that he brought with him. Slaves, animals, soldiers from the enemy. Uh, Jesus did the same thing. He bound Satan and all of his hosts and led them in a triumphal parade, showing before the Father his victory. So Satan is a defeated foe. Nevertheless, he is still fighting to destroy as many Christians as he can. He's using the psychological warfare, all the garbage you hear in the media to beat us down, blah, blah, blah. Doom and gloom. <laughs> the darker it gets. I mean, the darker in the night you get, the further in the night, the darker it gets. Right before the sunrise, is when it's the darkest and the sun comes up and the light shines. The light of Christ is shining on his bride. If Satan's roaring at you, roar back at him <laughs> about your victory in Christ. Remind him that he's a defeated foe. And that at the end of the book of the Bible, the end of Revelation, God sends one angel, not a whole bunch of them, just one, one angel binds Satan with one chain and throws him into the lake of fire to be tormented forever. That is Satan's doom. It's written down. It's going to happen. Satan knows it. So when Satan's roaring his psyops, his lies at you, telling you you're this, that, and the other, say, so yeah, I am a sinner, but I'm saved by grace. And I'm growing in the Lord day by day. I'm preparing my mind for action. I am sharp. I am in fellowship with my brothers and sisters in Christ as iron sharpens iron. I am pure, more pure today than I was yesterday. I am more holy today than I was yesterday by the grace of God. The Word of God is living in me. It's living and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. 
my mind has been renewed by the Word of God more today than it was yesterday. Fight back. Satan comes at you with his roar, roar back at him. He's a defeated foe. Don't fall for his psyops. He's a he's a defeated foe. Roar back at him. Jesus said, do not fear him who can only destroy the body, but fear him who can destroy both the body and soul in hell. That's Jesus Christ. Fear him. Anyway, that's just awesome news.